Welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity, an AI-generated show on tech, science, and culture. I'm Alex. Today, we're exploring the fascinating world of Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, and NASA's ambitious mission to uncover its secrets. Could this distant world harbor life beneath its frozen surface? But first, let's look at what else is happening. Big news in the world of AI and video editing. Adobe has just launched its Firefly video model. This AI-powered toolset includes features like Generative Extend, which is available in beta for Premiere Pro and allows editors to seamlessly extend clips for a couple seconds and smooth out transitions. What's really interesting here is how Adobe says they've approached the development of this model. They've reportedly prioritized commercial safety and ethical considerations, training Firefly exclusively on licensed content from Adobe stock and public domain materials. This means professionals can use AI-generated content in their projects without worrying about copyright issues. The model excels at generating videos of the natural world, making it particularly useful for creating establishing shots and landscapes. It also offers rich camera controls for angle, motion, and zoom, giving editors fine-tuned control over their generated content. One of the standout features is the ability to create atmospheric elements like fire, smoke, and water against black or green backgrounds, which is a game-changer for compositing work. Compared to competitors like OpenAI's Sora and Meta's MovieGen, Firefly stands out with its commercial safety focus and deep integration into professional video editing workflows. While Runway's Gen 3 Alpha offers similar capabilities, it lacks Adobe's extensive ecosystem integration. As this technology evolves, we'll likely see a shift in how video production is approached, potentially reducing the need for extensive B-roll footage and allowing for more creative flexibility in post-production. Shifting to some intriguing news in the field of longevity research, despite ongoing medical advancements, new research suggests that human life expectancy gains are slowing down and may be approaching a biological limit. A study published in Nature Aging found that life expectancy in the world's longest living populations has increased by only about six and a half years since 1990. Scientists are pointing to accumulated DNA damage as a primary limiting factor in determining maximum lifespan. It appears that the human body, while remarkable, wasn't designed for extended operation beyond what some researchers are calling its warranty period. Mortality rates accelerate exponentially for individuals over 113 years old, indicating a biological ceiling. Mathematical constraints inherent in survival curves also suggest an inevitable plateau in maximum lifespan growth. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Researchers emphasize that there's still room for improvement in overall health and longevity through reducing risk factors eliminating disparities, and promoting healthier lifestyles. The focus is shifting towards extending health span, the number of years a person remains healthy, rather than solely increasing lifespan. Quality of life over quantity. Now, let's turn our attention to a story that's literally out of this world. After some delay, NASA's Europa Clipper mission launched on October 14, 2024, marking a significant milestone in the exploration of Jupiter's icy moon Europa. The Europa Clipper spacecraft, carried into space by a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, is now embarking on a complex journey that will take it past Mars and Earth before reaching Jupiter in 2030. What makes Europa so intriguing is its potential to harbor conditions suitable for life beneath its frozen surface. 
The moon is believed to have a global subsurface ocean containing about twice the volume of water as all of Earth's oceans combined. This vast reservoir of liquid water, coupled with the presence of essential chemical elements and potential energy sources, makes Europa one of the most promising places in our solar system to search for extraterrestrial life. The spacecraft itself is a marvel of engineering. Standing about 16 feet tall and weighing over 7,000 pounds without fuel, it's designed to withstand the harsh radiation environment around Jupiter. One of its most striking features is its massive solar arrays, spanning over 100 feet when deployed. These are necessary to collect sufficient sunlight for power generation in the dim Jovian system, which receives only about 4% of the sunlight that reaches Earth. To protect its sensitive electronics from Jupiter's intense radiation, Europa Clipper employs a thick-walled vault made of titanium and aluminum. This innovative design, first used successfully by NASA's Juno spacecraft, significantly extends the operational lifespan of the spacecraft in this hostile environment. The mission's primary objective is to determine whether Europa could potentially harbor conditions suitable for life. To achieve this, the spacecraft will conduct nearly 50 close flybys at altitudes as low as 16 miles above Europa's surface. Each flyby will target a different location, allowing for comprehensive scanning of nearly the entire moon. Europa Clipper is equipped with nine dedicated scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and an ice-penetrating radar. These tools will search for subsurface water, study Europa's composition, and explore its geology in unprecedented detail. While the mission isn't designed to directly detect life, it will provide crucial data to assess Europa's potential habitability. The information gathered could inform future missions and potentially guide the search for extraterrestrial life in our solar system. As the Europa Clipper begins its long journey, scientists and space enthusiasts alike will be eagerly awaiting the wealth of data it promises to deliver. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Discover Daily by Perplexity. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite platform to stay up to date with our latest discussions on tech, science, and culture. For more information on the topics we covered today, check out the episode description. And remember, you can access Perplexity's AI-powered search on both Android and iOS devices. In other exciting news, Perplexity is coming to Mac. You can pre-order now on the Mac App Store to be one of the first to get it. We'll be back here tomorrow with more stories to spark your curiosity and expand your horizons. Until then, stay curious.